Some of the most critical risks for airport safety are the most unpredictable ones, those generated by Mother Nature. Aircraft share the skies and ground with birds and other wildlife. When the paths of wildlife and aircraft collide, it's called a strike. Managing these wildlife hazards at the airport is required by Part 139. There is no pattern or normalcy to wildlife activity. It varies by species, population density, and climate. Typical birds found at airports vary by geographical location. Some of the more common species are mallards, Canada geese, egrets, gulls, terns, and starlings. Animals wandering onto airfields that airport staff can encounter range from rabbits, muskrats, and the occasional cat or dog to coyotes, deer, and elk. If required by specific local conditions, such as multiple bird strikes or the presence of significant wildlife, a wildlife hazard management assessment must be developed for the airport. When the FAA administrator determines that a wildlife management plan is needed, the airport must formulate and implement a plan using the wildlife hazard assessment as a basis. This plan is usually based on the findings of an ecological study conducted for the airport by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in accordance with Part 139 requirements. The Wildlife Hazard Management Plan, which is part of the airport's ACM, describes the procedures to be followed during air carrier operations and the assignment of responsibilities for implementing control measures. The plan is maintained by airport operations. This document is typically reviewed annually with the airport wildlife biologist, airport staff, and a representative from the Fish and Wildlife Service. The airport's wildlife management personnel, under the direction of the wildlife biologist, are primarily responsible for wildlife management. Some of the techniques used to control hazardous wildlife at airports are habitat management, water management, insect control, trash debris and feeding, and wildlife population management. The airport operations manager or designee conducts daily aeronautical inspections and is responsible for noting the location and number of wildlife that may pose a hazard to aircraft safety. Upon request of the ATCT, airport operations will inspect or monitor any runway or operational area or at non-controlled airfields upon receiving a report of wildlife on active aeronautical areas, either from pilot reports or other sources, airport operations will proceed directly to check the area and take appropriate action to disperse the wildlife. Airport operations will advise ATCT or airport users immediately following any action taken. In addition, the airport must continually act to ensure and maintain the sterilized airport surface by removing ponds, controlling insects, cutting grass, bushes and weeds, which attract bird population and other types of wildlife. Airport staff members responsible for Part 139 duties receive initial and annual recurrent training in wildlife management. Training is conducted by a qualified wildlife biologist. 